Hey, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. I'm super hyped to introduce a new series on the channel. This is the first episode of Master Your Tone, and today I'll try to decode the legendary hot rodded Marshall Plexi Tone. In Master Your Tone, we discuss, well, tone. We all love guitars and want to sound great. For that, we have to understand guitar rigs to be able to get the most out of them. If you enjoyed this series, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. In this episode, I want to discuss the hot rodded plexi tone and show you how to get close to it without modifying your amp or spending an absolute fortune on a vintage rig. The term plexi tone refers to the sound of those early Marshall amps which had a plexi control plate. These amps became super popular, but guitar players wanted to get a bit more out of them. For example, Eddie Van Halen used his 68 plexi with a variac to sound the way he wanted. A variac is a variable transformer that allows you to turn down the voltage that comes out of the wall socket and goes into the amp. That changed the tone and most importantly the feel of his Marshall Plexi. And there's one more very important thing about Eddie's tone. The brown sound that we know and love is not just his rig. It's his rig plus quite some post-production. So it's his rig, the mic in front of it and the EQing most importantly that the mixer did both in studio and live. Slash used a modified or hot rodded Marshall Plexi in the Appetite for Destruction era, which was made by SIR in Los Angeles, and it was, it was called the number 39. It's an absolute legend of a modded Plexi, which traveled from studio to studio, and guitar players would request it for their sessions. And the list of artists who used modded Marshall Plexis goes on and on. Today, I wanna give you a few reasonable rig options to get close to that tone, reasonable in terms of volume and budget by using stock amps and pedals. For this first rig option, I'm going with the OG. This is the 59 model, the reissue of the 100 watt plexi. Uh, I have it pretty much cranked, all the EQ and everything is at 10 and I'm only using the first channel because that's what Eddie did. I'm also using a variable transformer, which helps me to get, again, closer to that spongier feel that Eddie is so famous for that original brown sound is all about. And I'm also using the two notes Captor X to attenuate 20 dBs to make the volume that I'm getting actually usable on stages. <laughs> The second rig is going to be the low wattage plexi, which is the SV20 head, and it's uh, still very loud, so I will still use the power attenuator to make it modern, stage friendly, and actually even usable at home too. In order to make the sound of the amp sweeter, more overdriven, or tighter, I might even boost it with an overdrive pedal. <laughs>
Another option is using a pedal-friendly clean amp and getting all the saturation and the, the plexi vibe from a pedal. That's something all those modded plexi players didn't have as an option back in those days. They had to get all the tone out of the amp, which of course led them to all those mods and all those tricks and, well, in many cases, to hearing loss. There are a lot of great plexi-style pedals on the market. It's impossible to show them all so what I'll do is just choose one that I really like and go for it. My impressions. Well, let's start with the first one, the, the OG, the 100 watt plexi with the uh, variable transformer and the, the Kefter X to attenuate the volume. Uh, the volume was fine, but it's still a mighty experience. It's undescribable, really. You have to try it once if you can. Come over, our store guys are happy to help you out. Um, it's an intense experience. And the, the way the amp reacts is just special. It has that clunk with each and every note. And I didn't really want more gain or any pedals in front of it. I mean, a, a tube screamer always works in front of a Marshall, but honestly, that just worked. It's awesome, but it's huge. Then the smaller Plexi, the 20 watt Plexi, gets really close. I went for the same settings on the amp, um, and I, I really liked it. I, I recognized the Big Brothers tone in, in there, but um, I kind of wanted to have the, the Tube Screamer style circuit, the pedal in front of it, to make it a bit warmer, give it a bit more mid-range, because for whatever reason, probably the smaller transformer in the amp, um, I kind of wished it had the low end and that directness, that, that attack of the big one. And it's crazy how you can attenuate the 20 watt head. If you go down 40 dBs, which is the most amount of attenuation on the Captor X, that's actually talking volume. Now about the third rig, about the Plexi style pedals. If you prefer using your pedal friendly clean amp, you don't sacrifice any tone. You might not quite get that punchy feel and the attack of a Crank Marshall, but the quality of the tone and the vibe is gonna be right up there. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna know about guitar rigs and what you find confusing about them. And with all that tone talk aside, what really matters is to enjoy playing the guitar, whatever the rig is and however good it sounds. See you in the next one. Yes? Good. Or maybe not. <laughs> Was this good? Back to, back to the other cam with the term flex and tone. Yeah, but well, then I need to move and start the thingy again. <laughs> and the list. <laughs> 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 and the list of artists. <laughs> yeah. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Power cable, I see. Come to me.